Persian child. I don't want you to take that for granted. If I said to you, I want you to pray. Yeah, I want you to pray. But also plan to marry now. Yeah, that one is what I'm I'm sure after this prayer, God will help you. Amen. Amen. To marry. Amen. But I also want to tell you, these people that are giving you problems where you're working, God will fight for you. Amen. Allow God to intervene. Amen. Yeah, because their plan is to chase you, but it won't happen. So, after all these things are settled, let's allow marriage now to come. Amen. Yeah, the issue of your parents. They must be proud of you wherever they are. Yes. So let's allow Jesus to help you. In Jesus' name. Jesus, my name. Give <laughs> this man. Jesus' name. Your spiritual wife. Leave. No. 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 In the name of Jesus. Come on. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Chavis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle JB and Prophetess T.E. Makananesa. And with me here today is my brother, who had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andres Simono and the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Sir, please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, I'm Isaac Morotlane. I came from Limpopo. So what are the challenges or reasons that made you to come here today? Uh, I had so many challenges back there, so even at work, so I wanted to know or uh, what's going on with my life. So I came for one-on-one -on -one so that uh, the man of God can tell me or what's going on with my life and what's going on at my work. I'd love so that you kindly please tell us in details, like that you elaborate on what, of, what are these challenges that you've been facing. Uh, Okay, so one first of all, uh, I had a problem at home, mm. so with the with my wife and with my neighbors. So there are some things that they, it's like they don't ask the around the area. So and uh, even my wife uh, is like sometimes he's so confused, like he, she does not know. What he what he want and we always sometimes had fight, mm. uh, so I don't know or know what's going on. So and then the other thing is like there are some guys at work, so they want to they are forming an alliance to to take me out of mm. the of the of the job of the work. Mm. So 
that those are the things that are make me to come for one on one so and i i also wanted to know what what god want me to do so uh, sometimes i was so confused or why am i living what do i live for so i wanted to know or why am i living what god want me to do you know and how has these challenges that you mentioned been affecting you uh, those things uh, been affect me spiritually especially my prayer life so because I prayed but sometimes I I was feeling weak sometimes uh, I f- had some wet wet dream and bad dream so uh, those are the challenges that I was having so I wanted to know or know why are these dreams comes because some of uh, uh, of my father's my my late father mm-hmm. so I wanted to know or know what's going on with it so you had an opportunity of sitting down with Prophet Andrew Simono one on one. Kindly please tell us what he said when he saw you and please confirm it. Okay, first of all, yes, I did had a ta- a one on one with Simono. Uh first of all when I came in, he told me about my children, my my young my my kid. So he asked me where <laughs> he is, uh where is the mother? are we still together and and uh, am i sending the money to them to support them so i told them i told him yes i did support them and uh, we're still together uh, and he said uh, he saw a confusion uh, in my wife so it's like sometimes he just actually ish, i don't know how to explain it but they he said, uh, my wife is sometimes he's just got a, he has short temper. Mm. So I have to be careful. He said, I have to be careful with that one. So, uh, so. They also told, he also told me about my father. Then he asked me, where is my father? Then I told him that he, he passed away. So he said, the spirit of, of, the, of my father, the spirit that kills my father, mm. is also after me. Mm. So I have to be prayerful so that that spirit may not come to me. So, yeah, that's all. You said that the man of God also mentioned um, the short temper that your wife has. How has this affected your marriage? Yeah, it's, uh, it's by, by the grace of God because, you know, sometimes God can give me the courage so to tolerate such thing, you know, and to pray for her because some of the things is what has she has been through mm. you know everyone so i understand why she's like that mm. because she's had because of uh, her parents he lo- she lost her parent both parents and that that thing affected her mm. very badly mm. so i understand why sometimes she's that way so she also need that deliverance but i believe god is going to help us so you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the apostle one on one um, what did he say when he saw you? Uh, in the name of Jesus. Thank you. Uh, Apostle came, uh, actually she, he was confirming what the prophet Andres was saying mm. yesterday. So he also confirmed that about, the, about my wife, the issue that my wife is having. So he said, uh, I must take care of her and I must, I must, I must also be her father since the, her parents are, are no longer so yeah so then he prayed for me that uh, i'm uh, i must find money finances i'm a, uh, for i mean so he prayed for me for breakthrough for financial breakthrough said and he said no i must god must bless me with money so that we can i can be able to take care of them yeah and so how do you feel after a one-on-one session with both the apostle and prophet andres 
no uh one on one it was actually i feel good and i feel relieved because those things are the things that i has been bothering me actually uh, yeah are the things that has been bothering me so much because even sometimes when i pray then uh, i'll just have to stop because i don't know what to s i don't know what to say because i've been praying about these things you know but uh, since I met the uh, prophet and the apostle, then uh, my life is relieved, relieved because now I know what are the problems, what are the causes of the problems. So now, since he told me to pray, then I'm going to maintain that prayer life. Then everything I believe is going to be all right.